So let's take a look at how API hooking works in practice. So our target application um, prints out or pops up three message boxes on the screen. Let's run it first. So it's our entry point. Let's run it. And we have first message, second message, and third message. That's pretty much all this application does. So now what we want to do is we want to hook the message box um, function to redirect it to our simple hooking function. Okay, so let's reopen hookme.exe. And let's go back to the hook me. So we have our three message boxes here. Okay, we can run it again and again. And the pop up should be here, right? So first, uh, first thing, let's investigate how how the original message box looks like. So we can go, th uh, go from here or we go to symbols user 32 which implements this uh, this function and this is our target function you want to hook so keep in mind uh, remember these uh, first two lines okay it's important right now because we now we are going to inject our DLL into this process. So inject DLL and hook them all hook them dot DLL. And now so we have our uh, hooking DLL inside the process. And if you take a look closer here, we have a memory region which uh, is not backed by any file on disk. Okay. And this region is um, created by Detours framework of Detours library. Uh, and it uses this region for hooking purposes, basically. So now, again, we are in the message, um, uh, message box uh, uh, function. And let's reanalyze it to see how it has changed. So now at the, at the very first instruction of this function is a jump, meaning that our hook has been set. Okay. So for now, we see the first message box. Okay. So we are running, uh, uh, we are inside that that call. But now uh, we have hooked the message box function. So the next message box will get like redirected to our hooking function. All right. So let's set breakpoints on these two calls. And yeah, let's hit OK. Now execution has stopped on that, this breakpoint, right? So now if we take a look at the message and let's step over. Now you can see that our hooking um, function has been called since it is just calling printf with that, that command with that uh, comment. And there is no pop up on the screen. All right. So it means our hooking worked. Now let's take a look at what will happen if we unload our hooking, uh, our hooking DLL. So let's free this library. And 
when our hooking DLL is unloaded from the process, it will produce this uh, uh, this co uh, this uh, comment, okay, this message. So now, if we go back to our uh, target, if we hit this, we will, if we call that message box, we should be able to uh, see the pop-up because the original instruction has been restored okay so let's run it okay we hit this um, instruction this breakpoint now if we hit F F8 or step over we see the message box working so our hook, hooks has been removed and the application works as original intended so that is how basic API hooking works in practice